Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Former Everton goalkeeper Andy Lonergan has been speaking to the one I Once Had Trials podcast uh, about Jordan Pickford and about the grief he gets. He says he is just a top guy. He trains his bollocks off and he is a class keeper. He says, honestly, he gets stick and it hurts me a bit because he's my mate as well. I will say he's kept Everton up single-handedly for the last three Three years, and that's a big statement, isn't it? That is how good he is been and he's been unbelievable unless you watch him every game you don't realize how good he is you see the headline headlights when when they can i think that's headlines when they concede and everyone will say he should have done this but the saves he makes he's incredible a great guy and he's chilled he's chilled out he loves giving abuse out to me but he is proper so there's andy lonergan setting the setting the, the, the story straight on um Jordan Pickford, because he is right. He gets a lot of abuse from outside of the football club, even from inside of the football club at times, um, especially when he's playing for England and people like Lee Dixon say he should be doing this and he should be doing that and he shouldn't have gone with it that and. Uh, what a load of nonsense. Um, yeah, these people who are unqualified. We see him week in and week out and we know how important it is, but big statement to say that he kept Everton up single-handedly, but he's someone who trained with him day in and uh, day out and obviously knows him really really well so that's uh that's uh, a you know big statement to make on jordan's behalf uh, alan myers has done a, a blog today on the sky sports website regarding the takeover from the freaking group now it does sound does feel like and does sound like that this is imminent within the next few days hopefully you know, the beginning of next week. Um, a lot of people are starting to put little pieces out, a lot of positive news. Um, you know, not, you know, no one's, there's not much scaremongering anymore. We expect this to go through smoothly and everything to be put in place ahead of when the Premier League basically go on holiday for a month uh, for Christmas. But Alan Myers has said that that the Freegan Group are looking to strike a balance between a long-term vision and an exciting new plan and keeping the absolute focus on the remaining months of the current season, uh, one in which obviously there's still work to do. Um, he believes that uh, obviously um, there is still a relegation battle to, to, to fight. Um, he doesn't believe that a immediate change of the uh, of the manager will happen either and he expects the group's executive to assess the situation fully before making any major decisions uh, they have obviously so far distanced themselves from any kind of involvement in the decision making in club uh, and that's the decision uh, that policy that they have stuck to vehemently um so it doesn't sound like that the the freaking group will come in and do anything uh, immediately and you know change anything immediately there will hopefully be money available in january to strengthen the squad to make it uh, a much better second half of the season so hopefully that that happens as well and obviously if that happens there needs to be the plan in place for certainly the director of football and the kind of players you're buying for whoever that long-term manager is, because I don't think any of us actually believe that Sean Dyche is going to be the long-term manager. Um, I know a lot of people are hoping that he ain't going to be the short-term manager, but the Freakins, according to Alan Myers, are looking to take things slowly, assess things properly, and make sure that Everton are in a good place short term and long term so hopefully that gets done next week and then you know it's put to bed then we are getting to that 12 week mark now aren't we so there's been no scaremongering as i mentioned there's no been any stories of course there is the situation with acap over in america uh, that legal side of things but that doesn't seem to be an issue it looks like you know the freaking group have been putting things in place to make sure that any um, debt is restructured. And of course, that that court case does throw a spanner in the works from that point of view because I don't think they can really make a decision on that yet because no one's quite sure who that money belongs to. So doing a deal to, um, as they say, take a haircut on that can't really be done 
at the moment. So we'll have to wait on that one, but I don't think it's going to stop anything. And hopefully we find out next week and hopefully it's signed and sealed and we can all just move on. Because I think we're all in limbo, aren't we? We need a new CEO. We need a new board um, before we even look at the managing situation. And we do know that there's been um, things put in place to headhunt those particular people as well. So hopefully that gets done next week. Uh, last couple of pieces of news. The Everton under-18s play tonight in the FA Youth Cup at Goodison Park. Kicking off about now. Uh, Leighton Baines is side. Of course, Leighton Baines is 40 years old today. Uh, you look at him, you still think he could be playing. He probably could have. He probably could have played a couple of more years. He could probably get in the team now when you think Ashley Young is still playing right back for Everton. Why couldn't Leighton Baines be playing left back? But... His uh, under-18 side take on Nottingham Forest, kicking off right now if you're watching this at 7 o'clock. It is available on Everton's website, so if you want to watch that game, go and check it out right now. And it, finally, it's the last day to get your Toffee TV merch ahead of Christmas. If you want it guaranteed for Christmas, whether it be Christmas jumpers, like the last Christmas jumper I am wearing right now, you can't see it, but there you go. Whether it's that or when a, when any of our amazing T-shirts, the Last Dance T-shirts, if you want to get someone an Everton gift for Christmas, head over to our shop. This is the last day to get it, to guarantee it for Christmas. The link is in the description. There you go. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description for that. And the QR codes come on the screen now. See you later.